Welcome to the Global Author Podcast. I'm Matt Connor Whiteley, science fiction, fantasy, and a global author, bringing you publishing, writing, book marketing, and a global author ideas of your book to help you sell more books and write better books. For more information and your free global author training, please go to theglobalauthor.com. And here's the show. Hi everyone and welcome to episode 55 of the Global Author Podcast with me, Connor Wiley. And today's episode is on why Kickstarter is a marketplace for writers and authors. And it is Saturday the 10th of July 2021 as I recall this. So I really wanted to talk about um, today's episode and I really did want to focus back on Kickstarter because I just finished a, a great new Kickstarter which I'll talk about in the content part of today's episode and I'm really happy with it because it means that I that I was able to make a few hundred pounds before I even released the book and I've also got brand new readers and lots of other great benefits that I really that I really do like because Kickstarter is amazing and I really do want more authors to choose it because Kickstarter is another great income stream and it's another way to reach readers all over the world and as this is the Global Author Podcast well we're all like fans of that so something else that I wanted to mention though in this personal update was like quite a, a few things over because it's been a quite a uh, <laughs> yes because it's been quite a, a busy week for like various reasons so for example like I finally got my first shot of the Pfizer vaccines so that happened like yesterday, so, so that I'm really, uh, yes, yeah, so that I'm really like pleased with, and I'm not feeling any like side effects or yes, yeah, so, or like anything. So that's really good. So, but you know when you're a writer, or you know when you're a really weird writer, when you get a short story idea from just being in the vaccination hub or whatever the place where I was was actually called though. So I've sort of got a sci-fi. Um, yeah, but like a sci-fi short story um, idea that I'm able yeah, that I'll write up at some point because it was actually quite interesting though. But it was really, but as sad as it sounds, even when I was like queuing up to get my vaccine, though, it was so out. It was so nice to be out again, but also seeing like younger people, well, people though, because I've not seen young people for ages. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I can't. Any way though, and then yes, and then like some of the other stuff that I've been doing is I've been writing quite a few short stories like um this week in yeah, well, like in addition to their this like psychology research bit for new psychology books. So and originally I was like going to try and write four four short stories in a week, but then lots of life stuff forgot yeah, well like lots of life stuff forgot in the way. But I've written two, yes, like one for an anthology and then one for my Fireheart Fantasy series series though, because I was uh, giving it away uh, f- um for the uh, kick starter and then i started another one because it will be as uh, yes but because it was a, a bit long i didn't get to like finish it so i'll finish that up in uh, the next week though but something that i did want to mention though was that this week i mean i've been doing like lots of research into coats and the psychology behind coats that is really interesting because i'm going to do a, a coat psychology book for my psychology audience but as i was uh, um reading through the research and everything i really started to think to myself right well, lots of writers write about coats, but you never see any of this. You never see any of these true things behind a coat, and coats are always made to be out what they're actually not about. So I was thinking, hmm, wouldn't this be great if I could adapt the coat psychology book for writers and include some writing tips or how you might use this in real life? So I started to like shoot on at that, and then I thought, right, so to sort of like make myself like commit to this idea. I'll ask you, like Joanna Penn about it on her Patreon Q and A, so that will be answered uh, like at, like some point. So, so I think I will definitely do it because I think it's a really interesting idea. That's sort of a good tip though about recycling books or like adapting books because I'm sort of going to make two books from one manuscript for two different audiences. So it sort of makes it easier for me to write uh, like another book for the global author. Um, audience if that makes any sense that so that I thought was really interesting and I really am looking forward to it and then also they all, like, the last thing that I wanted to mention though was that next week so the week that you're listening to this I will slowly start to upload the uh, podcast to YouTube and then I'll um, start building up a uh, you know, like more of an audience there so yes but I'll talk more about that and why I'm doing it how I am um, next week though. and then I will also refer to my psychology experiment on YouTube but because of course uh, the Psychology World podcast has uh, been releasing new episodes on uh, YouTube every well um, every week though, so I will talk more about that in uh, like next week's episode most uh, probably. And as always, I always like love to know your thoughts and feelings on today's episode. So you can always email me, conwhitely, conwhitely.net. You can always leave a comment at the show notes at theglobalauthor.com forward slash podcast. And you can always tweet me on Twitter at theglobalauthor. 
And this episode has been sponsored by Multiple Streams of Income by Joanna Penn. So this is an absolutely brilliant online course so that goes through all the different ways how you can make money as an author, whether this is a book of related, for example, like audiobooks, larger print, and like some of the more country-specific ways how you can make money, for example, the public lending rise. But then this great course also goes into non-book of related ways to make money, like teaching online courses and everything else though so i really do recommend joanna penta courses she's absolutely brilliant and i can and i'm always happy to like recommend her stuff like because she is always like that good and she's absolutely brilliant for authors so if you want to use my affiliate link to get this a great course that you can hopefully make a bit more money with your writing then uh, so i get a small percentage of the income and no extra cost to you then uh, please go to theglobalauthor.com forward slash income streams so that's enough for the personal update let's move on to the content part of today's episode so we're moving on to the content part of today's episode. So we're going to be talking about why Kickstarter is a great marketplace for authors and the writers. So I never, ever miss an opportunity to praise Kickstarter because the thing about Kickstarter, though, is that it's an amazing way to make money. But so many authors have tons of misconceptions about it. Now, in this podcast episode, I'm not going to talk about these misconceptions specifically, but I might in a future episode because I've just given myself an idea, though. But I really do encourage writers to use Kickstarter as part of their book marketing and publishing strategy because it's a great way to find new readers, which is one of the main reasons why I love it. Traditionally, writers see Kickstarter as only as a way to fund a project and that's it. There's no other benefits to Kickstarter. So if you don't have a a project, then do not do Kickstarter. That's the traditional way of looking at it. And yes, that is the traditional way. Yes, that is very true because Kickstarter is a great way to earn extra money for special editions and get more money for books. But Kickstarter is so much more than that because Kickstarter allows authors to expand their audience, make more money with their books and build their brand, which is one of my favourite things about it. And if you go to some of the other Kickstarter episodes that I've done on that I've done for the podcast, then you'll see tons of other great benefits of a Kickstarter. But the new way of looking at a Kickstarter is that this a great platform is filled with amazing people that actually interact with authors, which is always nice. But these people want to support authors directly by funding their projects and they want to become part of the publishing process. Now, I'm not saying now that can slightly be turned as like misleading, but they just want to be a part of this great project and they want to support you personally. And to, and to be honest, these are lots of great readers who don't actually buy from Amazon, Kobo, Barnes & Noble, Egg, etc. Because most of these readers only buy their books on Kickstarter for various reasons, including the more ethical choice of supporting authors directly compared to lining the pockets of massive companies. So my question is, why would you want to miss out on that? And also, why would you not want to put your book up on a Kickstarter to try and make some money before you even publish it and tap into a new group of readers? And the bottom two really summarise why I'm such a big fan of doing kick starters though, because I can make money before I even publish books. No other platform allows you to do that, because yes, pre-orders do help, but you still don't get that money two weeks later, <laughs> which is another reason why I really like it. The only retailer that comes close to that is uh, Google Play. So for the rest of this podcast episode, I just want to talk about my experience for my July 2021 Kickstarter because this would be my third Kickstarter and I made £345 and I'll talk about the number in a minute. So well, with each new Kickstarter, I'm meeting new, sometimes very interactive readers that want to support me and my work and of course... I am not going to reject these people. I'm more than happy because it gets readers into my author ecosystem. And this is another way to get people into your marketing funnels or, to be honest, just your ecosystem, just so they can begin to know, like, and trust you and want to fall in love with your work. And also, though, the thing about the very interactive readers, like this, uh, you know, so this uh, Kickstarter has definitely been my most interactive ever because I've had comments, I've had uh, conversations with uh, people. So this is why Kickstarter is really good because you get to interact with readers more directly and no other retailer allows you to do that but then if we go back to the uh, to the uh, kickstarter that i just did uh, so when i wrote this it ended like last night and i made 345 pounds minus the kickstarter fees and, and payment processing fees so i'm probably going to lose eight percent and then i also got 23 backers and yes some of those would be friends and the family but that's still tons of amazing new people but i'll like, come back to that in a moment and i 
I know lots of authors would laugh at that amount. £345, but that's not worth it. <laughs> yes, and some authors would probably say, oh, that's not worth it my time, my time there, and those are fewer people. But you need to change your thinking there because 23 people, they are amazing people who have actually given you their hard earned cash. So, yes, of course, they're not hundreds. And of course, I didn't make thousands of that pounds, but it's still money that I didn't have before. And that is the money from one income stream over the course of three weeks. So that means that I'm roughly going to make £310 minimum before I even publish these books. No other retailer allows you to do that. And this is still a great amount for two books that aren't even published though. So going back to the 23 backers. So that is still at least 18 backers who I don't know because there were some friends and family who were thankfully donated. Meaning that that's 18 brand new backers straight away. And from my own egg experience, I know that most of these backers will support my brand new projects, which meaning that it's going to be much easier for my future Kickstarters to fund that. So I'm going to make more money from them over time as long as I keep giving them good stories. And then the final thing that I want to mention though is that my favourite thing about Kickstarter is that I will make 90% royalties minimum. Sometimes it's a, um, 92% royalties, sometimes it's a 91 But I still get tons more money uh, compared to a massive company taking 30% from me. And the fact that I keep 90% of my Kickstarter money, that is absolutely nothing to sneer at. And this is why I love Kickstarter, because not only do I make more money, but it's another income stream. And it's a great way to connect to new readers. And most of all, it's fun. It, it is really fun setting up a Kickstarter, interacting with the people, fulfilling the orders. So, yes, it does take time, but this is one income stream which you can make a few hundred pounds at before you even release your books. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's episode and I hope that you started to become a bit more interested in Kickstarter. So if you go to theglobalauthor.com, there's a lot more great Kickstarter podcast episodes and also if you look through your podcast app though so kickstarter i'm really am excited about and i really do encourage more authors to do it so if you know someone who would find today's episode useful then please share it with them I'm always really grateful when you wonderful people help us spread the word about the podcast and if you want to learn more about income streams and making more streams of income then please check out the a great course by joanna penn and if you want to you can use my affiliate link at theglobalauthor.com forward slash income streams so have a great day everyone and i'll see you next time Thanks for listening today. I hope you found it useful. For more information, please go to theglobalauthor.com. And if you want to connect, then please reach out to me on Twitter at The Global Author. And you can find me on Facebook. For your free and exclusive Global Author video training, please go to theglobalauthor.com forward slash free. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time.